it has finally dawned upon me why Deontay Wilder would be ducking Anthony Joshua. This massive fight, this massive payday, and the biggest legacy fight out there for him. Well, I believe he is doing this now because he can make 2.5, 3, maybe even 4 million per fight now. Which, I mean, is not a lot and nothing really compared to what he would make out of an Anthony Joshua fight. I mean, I say not a lot, it's still a lot of money. But if you think he has 5, 6, maybe even 7 fights like this, then he will accumulate more money than fighting Anthony Joshua. I know he would have one lump sum if he fought Anthony Joshua, but if he fights him, loses, gets knocked out, he is finished. No one else will want to fight him because the risk outweighs the reward. As bad as you want to say about Deontay Wilder, he does have that one big punch, that equaliser, that can win him any fight. That's what makes him dangerous right till the end. And the risk of fighting him, like I said, does not outweigh the reward. So I believe what he is doing is ducking Anthony Joshua but using his name to grow his profile so that he can make more money out of the fights that he is having without facing Anthony Joshua. He can make the same amount of money out of having more fights. He can say he has a better record. He said he would like to beat Floyd Mayweather's record, which he won't do if he fights Anthony Joshua. So that is his plan, I think, to have as many fights as he can and stay unbeaten without facing Anthony Joshua, but yet still make the same amount of money, but just having more fights, because that is his plan anyway. He wants to have more fights, make the same amount of money, and not face Anthony Joshua, because he knows that he'll lose and get knocked out. Because Anthony Joshua is an underrated boxer, but he can also take you out with one shot. That is just too big a risk for Deontay Wilder. Now, while you may not be able to understand why Deontay Wilder would not want this fight, I kind of can now. Like I said, he can make just as much money, and he says he don't want to be famous, but yet he wants to become an actor after this, a thing in which fame comes with. So he wants to be famous, he wants his face on posters, he wants everyone to know who he is. He was jealous of Anthony Joshua, especially after the Klitschko win. He wanted some of that, and he knew the only way he could do it was by using Anthony Joshua's name. That's why he started doing it. He never had any intention of fighting him. He had plenty of chances to fight Vladimir Klitschko. He never wanted to. He's not worried about legacy fights. He wants to make it to 52-0, or 51-0, by beating limited opponents, but still he has to face Tyson Fury next, which will be a huge task for him, and a fight I don't believe that he can win, but still I believe that it is a better suited fight to him than Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua's style is all wrong for Deontay Wilder. You may think that is crazy, but still, if you look at the way that Anthony Joshua dealt with Joseph Parker, he boxed him so well. Anthony Joshua would deal with Deontay Wilder in that same fashion, he would outbox him. The only difference is between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua hits a lot harder, and Deontay Wilder gets hit way too much, he got hit too much against Tyson Fury. And you imagine those being big shots from Anthony Joshua, he wouldn't be able to stand up to it. That is why he knows he'll lose to Anthony Joshua, and why Anthony Joshua is all wrong for him. He has been saying for years that it's about legacy, it's not about money, it is about growing his name and being a better fighter the best he can be. One face, one name, that is a load of rubbish, he's never wanted that. All he wants is to break a record in Floyd's record and Rocky Marciano. But believe you me, he has never wanted to face Anthony Joshua. That is the truth. This has never been about legacy, it's only ever been about money and fame. Building his brand off of Anthony Joshua's name. That is what he has done. He is refusing all contact from Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua's team. He doesn't want this fight, he never has. He just wants to grow his name and his brand. But anyway guys, what do you think? Please drop your thoughts in the comments below of how much you think Deontay Wilder is a coward and why he doesn't want this fight. Please drop them below. Please also like the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys.